Okay, I took a break, played with the dog. Um, so let's talk about Tesla. Um, last night when I was doing my chart prep, um, I actually had Tesla on my list for a potential short play tomorrow. If it opened up inside yesterday's range and broke yesterday's low, that would have been my target. But when I woke up, Tesla had gap down. <clears throat> and gap downs negate that play. So we have to adjust. We have to adapt. We have to change our plan when things change. Okay. So what we have here, this is the daily chart. This is the hourly chart. This is the 30 minute chart. And this is the 15 minute chart. Okay. So let's look at the 15 minute chart first. So Tesla gap down opened right here. They tried to take it down. The next 15 minute candle was buying. This is why we say um, watch the flip. And the flip is the beginning of any new candle. It can be the 15, the 30, the 60, the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly. You get it. Any new candle. So I actually uh, slept in this morning, so <laughs> I didn't even wake up till 9.30, my time. So anyway, I woke up, I saw that Tesla had gapped down, um, and I just was watching it. And then at this candle here, it was 10.50, my time, I said, I drew a line here, um, but I said, Tesla is a potential outside day. And why did I say this at 1050? Well, if you look at the daily chart, this is the level and also the time where I said that. And if you know me, um, you know I really like outside bars. I like playing the reversals of them. And I also have a 50% rule. So if this candle has retraced more than half of its previous candle, I will then begin to consider the fact that, hey, we are going to take out this making an outside bar. And if you don't know what an outside bar is, it's just an engulfing bar. It takes out the low of the previous day, which it did and it takes out the high of the previous day. Now, I don't care about bodies where they close, like if it breached the, the high and the low of the previous day, it's an outside day per the strat definitions. So this was where I said, hey, a potential outside day. And then I was watching this candle and it closed um, and I wanted to show you the strat cheat sheet because a lot of people were like, why did I go long here? So this was my first trade of the day and let's hold on, we're, bear, bear with me. I'm having to bring in an outside source. So I hope you can see this strat combo cheat sheet that I have made. Um, and you don't, simply because we have a 2-1-2 setup, it doesn't mean you want to go short here necessarily. Because if you're strictly going off this sheet, you are completely ignoring the full time frame continuity aspect of everything. And what I mean by that is, so Tesla, like I said, Tesla opened here at we'll call it 705 so after the very first 15 minute candle tesla was green on the daily time frame um here so tesla was green on the daily time frame any point it was above 
705. So the daily <clears throat> continuity was green. Um, we are still an inside week, but Tesla's volatile enough that you can trade it and still make money. So you had green on the daily and for you know pretty much all of the day it was green on the 60. so anyway i was watching this candle here it closed then this candle opened it ticked down by almost nothing and immediately flipped and went green so i was like hmm if this was going to break to the downside, it was going to go, but it did not go. It immediately, it was red for one second, and then it immediately turned green. So I just got into calls right here. And right, pretty much right where I entered is right where my stop would have been. Because I was like, okay, this did not do, it, it didn't go down. The bears are not here. Um... So we started coming back through this candle. So I was for sure like we're going to become an outside bar of this one. Um, so I got in here and I got out right about slightly above the top of the one because I knew if this was going to be an outside bar, we were going to take out that. And then hopefully we would take out that. And we did. And then instantly... I got out, I posted it because they know me as the mag the magnitude queen or the target queen, whatever. I have a plan, I get in, I get out at my target. And the reason I was looking bullish again was because I had already said Tesla is most likely gonna become an outside day. So my thesis on the day was bullish. So I would not want to be shorting anything. I want to look for signals back into the direction of full time frame continuity. Um, let's see, what else? Um, okay, so my second trade was right here. Let me get this line. I actually entered a little bit before this level because <clears throat> there was a nice five minute candle. So I actually entered like halfway right here. Hold on. Actually, let's just look at the five minute. 7.37.2. Okay, so that pink line is the high of the 15 minute candle. We had a three, one, two. So I entered right here at 7.30 hoping it would trigger that 15 minute inside. Nope, it wasn't an inside candle. It was a two down. So I was hoping that this candle would trigger the 15 minute two down, two up reversal, which it did. And my target was yesterday's high to become an outside day. So I entered here and my stop is literally the low of the candle that I entered on, which is 7.28. So I had a $2 risk for a $7.25 gain. So yeah. And it worked out perfectly. Um, if you look at the daily over here, we hit the top of yesterday making an outside bar. And then I said that our next target was going to be 7.49. 750 psychological which you can see right here but there was also another psychological level <clears throat> which is where it pretty much stopped at at the end of the day which is 745 psychological and also hold on let me delete some of these okay so let's make this the 15 minute chart again and okay so this is the hourly chart you had a double inside 60 minute bar also so when i took my entry i did not enter immediately <clears throat> one i wasn't ready two 
I don't like to enter on continuations. So a three, two continuation, I like to enter, enter on reversals. So after corrective activity. So that 730.22 level was the break of the double inside hourly bars, but I waited nice and patient. I waited for a two down, which is corrective activity, which non stratters call a bull flag. Um, and we look for signals, reversals to get back in that reconfirm this double inside 60 and up. So this right here was a perfect reconfirmation of the double inside 60 and up. It was a good reconfirmation of the green day, the green hour, the green 15. So all day long, I was never once looking at Tesla for a short. Um, if you wanted to just, there's signals all over the place on Tesla today. If you just wanted to look at the, the 30 minute chart, this is nice and clean. So we opened here. So this would be considered a two down because we broke down from the previous candle. So you could have entered long right here at 710, wrote it up, 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 up. You could have cut it right here at the low of this 30 minute candle, which was 725. And then you had a 212 bullish reversal. So you would have entered when this bar broke the high of here and wrote it up to 737 because also it's a lot less, you know, it's a lot less responsive than the 15 minute chart, right? Because it's slower. So you had no, um, you had a higher low every candle up until your target was hit. Uh, I think that's really all I wanted to say. And back to the strat cheat sheet. Um, don't just take signals because they're here. You could train a monkey to do that. But just don't forget about time frame continuity. The trend is your friend. You know, there is something to be said for a simple trend, you know, if you like, don't overcomplicate things. Tesla was in a nice uptrend all day. It didn't break till here, which was the hourly inside bars, but still you had a beautiful upward sloping line. So trying to short this was not in your best interest. Um, People asked about scripts, but those people are the people who won't look in my pin tweet. So if you want that, go get it. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. So two trades, this candle, and then I sat through two 15 minute candles on this trade, but this trade made me a lot more money than this first one. So it was a, it was a nice day, you know, small relaxed, easy, chill. I only took two trades, especially for waking up late. That's, <laughs> that's pretty good. All right. Anyway, talk to you guys later.